complete, uh huh. A lot of fight fans were excited when she signed with the UFC, especially those who followed her career in the kickboxing world. And it certainly looks like a good addition here for the UFC in this division. Well, she's fun. She definitely does bring excitement. She's one of those athletes that you cannot take your eyes off of. And because of the way she fights, her fight style is really, really good. The way that she attacks with that aggressive style, looking to take your head off, is why people tune in. As she walks to the octagon, and look at her face. She's so confident yeah. that she's going to get the job done tonight. She's not Keith Peterson, but she's kind of no-nonsense. I was a yeah. little bit intimidated when she walked into the fight arena. She is on a business trip, and we'll see if it is a successful one here in a matter of moments. a true mixed martial artist. Her first martial art was MMA. That certainly helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter. A fighter that, as a young girl, she was brought into a gym. And in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle. I don't want to do jiu-jitsu. I don't want to kick boxing box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one. And you see all that the development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon, where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her time. for this, our main event of the evening. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the new corner, Norma the Immortal Dumont. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Patty Bonzon-Kiazan. Herb Dean, our referee for this Ready. one. All right, here we go, early round one, and you know her strategy tonight is going to be to kick likely to the body, no denying the power she packs, really on both sides. Yeah, she has a, she does a fantastic job of switch kicking when she's in conventional stance and also throwing that back power kick whenever she is fighting as a southpaw. She is very well-rounded, but she's very educated in throwing kicks to the body. Oh, sidekick. Well done. Oh, oh, maybe the best shot she's thrown tonight. Her opponents are beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Big head kick. All right, well, she's landed those hooks at a high clip here tonight. Actually, some fans are starting to call her Mrs. Lineker. I think it's a pretty good nickname. Oh, it's a great nickname because they fight. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Well, DC thought she'd go back to the well with the hook, and there it is. So 
just as you said it, she's able to land it flush. She landed that punch beautifully and got all of herself into that beautiful hook. What a fantastic job of setting up a dominant strike that she oh, What a shot by her there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. Still. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive head kick. Big right hand there. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Well, pretty good recovery by her opponent after being stunned, but we see this all the time, right? If you don't close the deal when you have that opportunity, your opponent's back in the fight and can potentially wrap. Especially with this opponent. This opponent's so dangerous all the time. It does not matter that she hurt her before. She's gonna have to close the door if she gets her hurt again. Real quick leg kick. Another one. Keep pushing. Dumas' cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Kianzak going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Nice crack there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that... Back to the feet now. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, what a round. How good was that? All right, that's the end of the round, and the fighter has a cut on her nose. So that is something that certainly bears watching moving forward. Cut man racing in there. He'll try to seal that cut. She doesn't seem too bothered by it, but certainly something we'll keep an eye on here moving forward. All right, let's take a look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC Chief among it. The big knockdown courtesy of that punch. A Ready big fight. knockdown off of Ready. that punch. She was flowing, Good. letting everything go, and then she sat down on that strike that put her opponent down. Blow of this fight thus far. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her opponent hurt bad. Strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Dumont. Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now, as her opponent continues to target that area. Yeah, I mean, you are a, you have a, a fighter in front of you who is so... Oh, she made that one count. She is so dominant from the top position. Oh, she's got head movement even off of her back. Huh? Nice slip there. She's being proactive. She's not sitting and waiting until her opponent throws. She's moving in advance, and it's allowing her to evade these strikes. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Oh, she's in trouble, dude. Oh, Dumont's eye is starting to swell shut. Finish it, finish it, finish it. Beautiful transition. Hanny Kianzed's right back to the full mount. All right, she's got her in a crucifix from top position here, DC. What are you trying to do with your legs to maintain control of that arm? You know, you gotta take the knee, slide it over the top of one of the arms, so that when they're bridging and turning, the arm is just going up and down your shin, blocked by your ankle, blocked by your knee. That's how you keep from there, and you maintain the underhook on the other side. So you control one part with your knee, one part with your arm, and then you just use your hands to just punch and beat them up. Dumont's eye is absolutely disgusting. That thing's gonna be shut for a couple weeks, and uh, maybe it's time for the referee to call on the ringside position. We'll see if that comes here shortly. Well, maybe some panic setting in for her opponent as she continues to land with the ground and pound. She cannot deal with the pressure of the top fighter. She's so good at finding her strikes. 
Outstanding grappling battle, and now back to the feet. Huge response from the crowd. We'll see who has the advantage here. Big oh, oh, that will do it! Oh, my God! That is as clean a knockout as you will ever see, and certainly the signature win of her career today. You don't get many like this. She said that she was going to knock her opponent out, and that is exactly what she did. What a performance. All right, we take a look back at some of the pictures from this one, and she had it all going on tonight, but certainly her boxing was on point. Her boxing always is what allows her to dictate the pace of fights. Finally, she landed the strike that ended the night of her opponent. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 41 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Penny Bonzon Well, there she is. This arena belongs to her here tonight. Hard pressed to find a knockout in the women's game as stunning as that. I mean, she has so much confidence in her hand that she's willing to stand in front of her opponent and take one to give one. And when she gave one, it shut the opponent's lights out. Great job finding that kill shot.